believes that there is a relationship between extremism and terrorism. You know, we can't come and say that uh, terrorism just happens. There is uh, a climate that is being created. And every terrorist, as they say, is a, was an extremist at some stage. Perhaps not every extremist becomes a terrorist, mm -hmm. but every terrorist was an extremist uh, at some stage. So we feel there is a relationship. We feel that there is a conveyor belt relationship in many sense. So clearly, that's the first thing that we have to face. N number one is to say that there is this relationship. So clearly, what we need to do in the fight against terrorism, we need to undermine and to confront the extremist thoughts also. In various ways, in how they deal with women, in how they try and, 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 and present what, what, what I would call an exclusionist view of Islam, uh, the, the way that they want to impose, you know, what I would say, this ultra-orthodox conservatism on society. All these things are basically, in, in, in our assessment, are basically uh, in, in terms of, of, of rejecting uh, openness on the world. All of these things, in our opinion, are basically a foundation that feeds into extremism. I think, uh, into terrorism, that's number one. So clearly, from our view, we feel many groups, such as the Muslim Brotherhood, as responsible for creating the, the, the conditions for terrorists, for terrorism to be justified. 